Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Dads and it's time for another super cool Cards the Universe and Everything deck test with this brand new card Microscope. Pretty cool. Under the Microscope cards wherever they are, gain plus 26 until play. Looks a super card. So let's see what we can do with Microscope. Uh, we'll put together a deck and then we will go as always and test it out in probably casual because it's quite high energy this week or not this week this deck i should say okay the first card up is numerology three for 17 if it's round two or four seven of your random space cards and seven of your random science cards wherever they are gain 18 power this round if it's round one three or five seven of your random life on land cards and seven of your random ocean and sea cards Wherever they are, gain plus 18 this round. Quite a useful card, this one. I do like it, and it fits in really nicely into this deck. Charles Darwin, another cool card. I do like him. 8 for 59. You'll notice this is a 9 and 9 life on land and science deck, by the way. Uh, on the play, if your deck has three or more science cards, which we do, your life on land cards, wherever they are, gain plus 20 power for four turns. And if your deck has nine or more science cards, which we do, your life on land cards, wherever they are, gain an additional plus 10 for four turns. There he is, that cool microscope card, limited legendary, like I said, on the play. You're under the microscope, microscope, not microscopic, microscope cards, wherever they are, gain plus 26 and dual played. To Carl Linnaeus, I do like this guy, 7 for 61 on the draw. If your deck is exactly nine life on land cards, and exactly nine science cards, which we do. Your cards, wherever they are, gain plus 14 until played. Super buff on all of our cards. So I've gone with Indigo Milk Cup in this deck. I'll explain why in a minute. And I've also put in three possible lockup cards. This is the first one, House on Haunted Hill. It is a start card. Uh, on the start, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus seven power this turn. And on the return, your opponent loses minus 12 power permanently. I put him in for emergencies, but he's quite good card. He works really well. Next science card, by the way, is Eden Project. Six for 40, Epic Limited. On the draw, if your deck has nine or more science cards, which we do, your life on land cards, wherever they are, gain plus 18 at this round. I wish it said vice versa on the end of that one, but never mind. Still a cool card. <coughs> Lichin. One, four, five on the play if your deck is exactly three under the microscope cards, which we do. Your funky fungi cards, wherever they are, gain plus 30 until played and vice versa. So that's going to give six cards plus 30. I thought it was quite cool and I wanted to do something a little bit different. So that's the first under the microscope card. The second one is micro, Microplasm. Cool card, this one. Two for 15, pretty cheap to play. On the play of the card opposite this loses minus 50 power and costs minus two energy permanently. Really cool card. Okay, moving on then, our last science card. And again, it's uh, under the microscope card is Hydra. Uh, six for 50 on the return. If you lost the turn, your remaining cards in hand gain plus 30 power until play. Quite useful. Probably the best one at the moment if you are going with three under the microscope card. Surprisingly, microscope is not a microscope card. Bit weird, that one. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. I was swallowing then. Uh, the life on land cards. First one up is one that we do want to try and lock up with Indigo. The common spotted couscous. Uh, one for six. You should know this one. On the start, gain plus four power permanently. And if you do play it, you lose minus 26 power permanently. Next card, it's a funky fungus. Is that what they're called? Death Angel. Cool card. I've never used this one before, so I'm quite happy to put him in the deck. Six for 42. On the play, you've played opposite. Any arts and culture or life on land card, your opponent loses minus nine power permanently. Quite useful. Here he is another funky fungus, or whatever they're called. Indigo Milk Cap. On the draw, gain 25 power until this is returned to your deck. On the return, if it's on or before round two, turn two, a random card in both players' hand locks permanently. If it's after round two, turn two, a random card in both players' hand locks this round. 
And then my third funky fungi, funky fungi is the Scarlet Elf Cup. Three for 27 is a limited legendary, this one. On the play, if played next to any mythical creatures card, you're under the microscope and funky fungi cards, wherever they are, gain plus 26 until play. So I've got quite a few mythical creatures. In fact, I think I've got four. Let's have a look. Next one is Cockatrice. He is a mythical card or a mythical creature, I should say. On the return, an opponent's random card in hand locks for two turns. I've also gone with Lich, pretty useful. You should know him, six for 67. On the draw, if you're training by 50 or more, gain plus 10 power permanently. If you've lost at least one round this game, gain plus 10 power permanently. And on the return, if you lost the turn, gain another plus 10 permanently. So possibly 30 power permanently available each time you play Lich. Gamayun, it's a nice card this one, 754. On the draw, if your deck has three or more mythical creatures cards, which we do, a random card from each album in your hand gains plus 23 and dual played. I thought I'd put a ring because I wanted to get a couple of extra mythical creatures cards in there. Uh, but you could swap that for something else, I guess. Shenu, 8 for 34. This one is super. For every life on land card you have played this game up to a maximum of 10, this card gains plus 8 permanently. And we've got 9 life on land cards, so he should buff up quite nicely. And this is the third one that we can lock up in an emergency. Uh, Yellow Jacket, 5 for 43. On the start, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 5 until played. And on the play, your opponent's cards in hand lose minus 24 this turn. Super cool deck. I do like the look of it. Okay, let's go. Like I said, it's quite high energy, this deck. Don't think it will work in this week's league. So I'm going to... Oh, Bait Clam. I recognize that name. <coughs> Here we go. So we've got 21 energy, which is pretty useful. Uh, numerology, Cockatrice, and... Uh, which one should we go with? Let's get him in the middle, get him back round quickly. So yeah, I tried to do something a little bit different with this deck. Uh, it's a bit of a fun deck. It is okay. I have played it a couple of times and it's done pretty okay. Okay, Bait Clan is playing. A nebula deck. Oh no, we've probably got no chance against a nebula deck. Nice deck, Bait Clan. Oh, Cockatrice locking up one. We are 60 behind already. This deck is quite good because you get a few points per turn on your side, a few negative points per turn on your opponent's uh, side. And also we've got all those buff cards in there. So we should get a few big powerful cards. Uh, lots of cards like Carlinius or Carlinius that buff up life on land and science card. 269, that's not too bad a score. Quite like that. It's definitely got plenty of energy actually at the moment. But it is 21 per turn. So we should be okay. And looks like we're going to go in the lead here. Wow, incredible. <coughs> come on microscope we are under the microscope i should have called that this deck under the microscope shouldn't i q under the microscope uh what should we do hydra maybe or oh, that one two eight three oh no way bait clam one nil to the microscope impressive that is good like I said, I played a couple of games with this deck. I did lose one, and then I beat another... I think I beat a Paleontology deck. It wasn't a very good one, to be fair. There is a deck code W2LTA0. W2LTA0. Uh, let's go. Let's go and do some locking. Uh, oh, I wanna tr I'm going to take a gamble here. This is a crazy gamble. I should have... I didn't want to lock up. Oh, have I made a mistake? Come on, it's 50-50. Hit common spotted couscous. I wanted to get that buff from Scarlet Elf Cup. Oh, <laughs> it's so lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky, lucky. 200 in front. That was a crazy gamble there. Sometimes you've got to do them. Uh, it wouldn't have been the end of the world if we had locked up Scarlet Elf Cup. But there he is. I wanted to get it next to a mythical card. Which we still haven't been able to do. Microplasm, great card. I use that quite a lot now, actually. This deck is doing okay. 277. Seven. We're going to be about 240 something in front. So, yeah, that one. You need to play it next to a mythical card and you get that massive buff on your fungus and on your. Uh, what's the other one? I can't remember. Uh, let's try it. There it is. 
under the microscope class of course 238 but we will get that buff now the shinu is a mythical creature we're quite a long way in front actually oh that is not too bad numerology is great because you can throw it on at any turn in this deck it doesn't or any round i should say any turn and any round just getting round as quick as you can three two four we won that one wow we are beating this cool nebulae deck interesting very interesting it's not a bad nebulae deck either by the looks of it okay so what should we do eden project lich and yellow jacket two three oh he's not boosting up it's probably not the best nebulae deck is it baked clown interesting but it's not a bad deck it's quite fun i think when there are a few better under the microscope cards it could be good but at the moment there's not enough so probably nine and nine or even six 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 could be the way to go if you do want to try this car but this deck's really good life on Ad science there's some really good buff cards around even charles darwin is pretty useful good old charlie that's good yeah charlie you've got car line here you've got the eden project you've also got a couple of other cars that i didn't put in this deck uh really just to help with the circulation so there's a couple of other ones uh is it Cy cyborg cyclone whatever it is that goes in the middle of two life on land cards the trouble with that and is the circulation three seven five great deck thank you cake baked clam baked clam good game wow there we go guys that is my deck test for microscope that brand new card it is available in the store now if you do fact you're going to get it i think it's going to be a good card in the future it's pretty good now it's definitely good fun in casual uh, and if there's a good week in the league you never know anyhow thanks for watching guys we will be back very soon with a load more super cool stuff but in the meantime, have fun, take care, and we'll see you all soon. Bye!